All right, um, final match, and we're finally faced with kind of a super awkward hand here that is probably still worth keeping, just because we have Experiment 1, Lightning Bolt, and if we draw pretty much any 2-drop, we're in business. Pretty much any 1-drop, we're, we're happy with as well at this point. But uh, certainly a... F um, a functional hand, if not explosive. And experiment one, number two, isn't that bad. <laughs> and our opponent sneaks in the Lotus Blooms and is obviously playing Ad Nauseam, which is a pretty good deck right now. Um, definitely a solid choice. Consistent and wins fast and really going to uh, be punishing us here on our slow start um, I mean next turn we can lightning bolt surge bushwhacker but this is pretty slow clock and now we can renegade bushwhacker which is quite a bit better because next turn we'll be able to lightning bolt bushwhacker and probably set up for approximately lethal. Of course, our opponent is also having their big turn soon here. Yeah, approximately much more than lethal. The question is, are we going to survive? And the answer is, of course, no. So our opponent, Angel's Graces, can't lose the game, and then goes ahead and draws our whole deck and we just scoop because <coughs> we, we know we dead so sideboarding well we have the thorns of amethyst which are obviously coming in the destructive revelries are great because they destroy Frixie and unlife and they also hit um, they can hit lotus bloom in a pinch although opponent can just combo off on upkeep a lot of the time but still relevant they can hit um, pentad prism or anything else and then we obviously also want the thought seizes just any sort of disruption is good and beyond that we can also potentially squeeze in an ancient grudge or two although not really that great but destroying pentad prism is pretty good um, early on in the game. So for cuts, Lightning Bolt is is not really what we want. It's fine, but can shave um, like some some other stuff. <laughs> we, basically, we want all the all these one drops. Do want the devastating summons for potential big play, and then just getting rid of this and bringing in this seems pretty good uh, for what we want to do so on the play and another kind of unexciting hand but Wild the Cattle into Herbalist with Destructive Revelry is again probably just barely good enough although not really that explosive eh, and free 2-2 two -two, sure take it definitely take it because that's going to increase the clock and now backed by destructive revelry we're uh, looking to be in a great spot against a non lotus bloom hand this is just going to be a really good clock or at least good enough against not lotus bloom with destructive revelry to deal with Frixie and on life and there's the on life which we are obviously going to revel in destroying and hey look at that we already have lethal exaxes uh, so kind of um, <laughs> getting our opponent back for their double lotus bloom hand and going to game three unfortunately uh, really really hitting the hitting the mediocre hands and this one is obviously terrible which is good because we get to mulligan it into this great hand. 
and a Tarkus command, I bought him. I, I mainly want to draw um, Disruption, or even a one drop would be better. We're, we're thinking we're thinking that we're too fast for the second Atarkas command with this opening, and would much prefer to have Disruption. And just like that, another two drop is pretty good. Here's the Herbalist opening. Take your medicine. Alright, so we're going to get Overgrown Tomb and Sacred Foundry, and which allows us to cast everything and even draw another burning tree so yeah <laughs> here we go and our opponent doesn't have um, lotus bloom so we're looking great um, I mean if we count this up f 5 extra damage plus 3 extra damage so 8 extra damage is um, on top of uh, 6, so 14 plus another 6, so that's exactly 20, which is exactly lethal. Which is exactly pretty good. So we pump our team, swing in for lethal, and get darkness. Prevent all combat damage that would be dealt this turn, and our opponent's at 17. Hello darkness, my old friend. We're going to lose the game again. All right, so we still have a good clock. <clears throat> Our opponent's at five, although they are are able to pretty much combo off. Lotus Bloom not going to be doing anything. If they do have Angel's Grace land uh, ad nauseum, there's obviously nothing we can do. And Phyrexian on life is going to uh, prove to be an issue as well. Because the way on life works is um, you can't deal the infect damage in the same combat step that you're putting them below zero. Well, assuming you don't have double strike. So we're able to hit our opponent for a lot, but it's not even going to do any infect. So now we're dealing infect lethal damage. But now all our opponent needs is ad nauseum to win. And they have ad nauseum to win. Which is rather sad for us getting darkness out of the game. And, of course, we can uh, observe how many darknesses our, oppo our opponent has before we uh, lose. And, of course, they have plenty to kill us with, and we are dead. Darkness, 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 three darknesses, GG. Good games, though. And... I mean, uh, that was a beast of a start that was shut down, unfortunately, for us. 